and uh, this time I'm in New York. I'm with uh, a designer, great designer, Elaine. His surname, the last second name, I will leave for him to mention. <laughs> but um, I you think can try. It's Fanidi. Fanidi. Yeah, Fanidi. I won't remember yeah, the next yeah, time. Fanidi. <laughs> Fanidi. Yes. Tell us a little bit about yourself. What kind of um, uh, fashion designer are you? Okay. I'm a hundred percent African from Ivory Coast and not many people know what I do. I create uh, uh, my brain back in 2000, December 2000. So this December coming will be 20 years for us to be around. So back in the day, it was Fanidi International Group. And uh, this year, after 20 years, I gave Alain Fanidi to the group because when I moved to US, people didn't know how to pronounce Fanidi. My name is very special, mm -hmm. but I will explain to people what it means because everything I do means something. I'm from Ivory Coast, from the west part of Ivory Coast, what they call the crew. Uh, my name is actually a prophetic name. It means bring us the good news. And uh, it, it was originally Fa Agne De, that's mean from the Bete. The Bete from Ivory Coast, the, the West people. So Fa Agne De mean give us the good news. So mm -hmm. our grandfather, the one that I carry the, the name from, in, uh, is with Grobri Fanidi. So whatever he was going, people say Fa Agne De, Grobri Fa Agne De. And, uh, the, the white people have transformed the name, of course. <laughs> Fanidi, Fanidi, when it became, he was a chef. Mm -hmm. So everybody would say, where is Fanidi, Fanidi? And he become Fanidi. So today, people confuse our name with an Italian. They don't know if we're Italian, if we... People don't even know where the name comes from. Mm -hmm. And it's good because we are unique and we are few to carry this name in Africa. And I'm very humble to have that name because today, my brain align this with the destiny of that name. My brain, Alain Fanidi, is also about faith. So the one that they have like an 8F, and when you take the number eight, and you put F, you put the F next to it, it's pronounced fate, yeah. and uh, it's uh, closer to faith. Mm -hmm. And the mm -hmm. base of the brain is all about faith. Yeah. So we a company, who made to empower other people and our slogan is walk by faith cool. that's it so if somebody should buy something it's going to come box like that oh uh, we have different packaging depending on what they the different is. packaging yes because um we have different brain in the company mm -hmm. we have a heritage 97 years with more our uh, body wear so that's mean track jacket underwear hat some few things was not really expensive because mm -hmm. we are a luxury company. So, of course, as a lifestyle brand, we cost, we cost money. Mm -hmm. And especially because all our products are limited edition. Mm -hmm. We don't do more mass. than 50. Mm -hmm. We don't do mass at all. The, the, when we create a reproduction, is actually 50 per design and per color. That's mm -hmm. it for the entire world. Mm -hmm. For the clothes line, like a shirt like this, which one is a new collection, we make one at a time. Mm -hmm. None of the pieces are identical when it comes to clothes for men. And we specialize for men. Mm -hmm. Thick men. Because let's say you go to Gucci, Louis Vuitton, all of that. Sometimes black people, we are thick. We are not fat. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we are thick. Mm -hmm. With the fufu, okay? The fufu, <laughs> the, the, uh, the jollof rice, mm -hmm. all of that. You know, the good food, the muscle develop naturally and mm -hmm. with the the yam, the acheke, mm -hmm. it become firm. Mm -hmm. So it built the muscle. So for those men who play soccer or, or, or big sport mm -hmm. or run, uh, thing, they have a big tight. Mm -hmm. Now, let's say someone from Africa, Ghana, become a football player here. Mm -hmm. He make big money, but he want to dress luxury clothes. Mm -hmm. Let's make Gucci or the brand. Those one, honestly, when you go in there, good look find the pants mm -hmm. 38, mm -hmm. 39. They don't, because uh, mm -hmm. for them it's big. Mm -hmm. 
you have to go to big size for that. Mm -hmm. We are not big, we are thick. Mm -hmm. So I've been confronted to this uh, thing before. Mm -hmm. That's for the reason I decided to re launch a clothing line for people like me. Mm -hmm. So instead just to launch a clothing line, I make a study for different body types. So I find seven of them and I did. Alain Fanidi is a lifestyle company born from furniture design and uh, architecture interior design. So you had a, your, your education, your uh, in architect. Mm -hmm. so yeah, I went to to Canada for the academy. Actually, I'm an academician. Okay. Academy, international academician in design and the technology in Canada, okay. Montreal. Uh, but you never practiced ar architecture and design. I I, I did interior design. I practiced mm -hmm. uh, in Canada. Okay. I actually did some few plays for some client in Canada. I did some of them here in Atlanta from some uh, other project. I cannot name the name because mm -hmm. it's high profile people. In it, you know, I did. Uh, yes, I practiced. Yes. So what is it that draws you to? Find Fashion. Okay, fashion, uh, because when I launched a brand, I didn't just want to do one thing. Mm -hmm. I was like, I want, because I look in the industry of luxury, go find one, name, or at least give me 10. Kwasi, Kwaku, no, there was not that. Mm -hmm. Why? Are we living under the ground? Mm -hmm. There was no luxury. Some few, like uh, the famous uh, suit brother from Ghana. What is his name again? Uh, Oscar Boateng. Oh, Boateng. Mm -hmm. Proud. But beside him, there were some few other, but mm -hmm. they are not international like mm -hmm. him. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You understand? And uh, him, again, is a specialty to suit. You know, but we're talking about a brand like Ralph Lauren, mm -hmm. lifestyle, mm -hmm. where you can find shoes, shoes bag. painting, mm -hmm. art, bag, jewelry, mm -hmm. everything. From the toothbrush, the picture, the book, the painting for the wall, the chair, mm -hmm. the bed sheet, the frame, lifestyle brand. You don't find nothing. Mm -hmm. Why? But the black people are the ones who buy. Mm -hmm. But we don't own nothing. Mm -hmm. That's mean we have no legacy. So I want it to create something, mm -hmm. not because I'm interested in the money, but I want to create something that leave behind for our people. I wanted, when I was young, when I would pray, I said, God bless me so I can be the blessing for people. Mm -hmm. Even when I create my hat that I call actually the the helmet, inside the hat, I say, service. I read that somewhere, a lady who was saying, service is a rent we pay to be living. Mm -hmm. So my point was to be able to empower, be a brain to empower others. Okay. So when it comes to the creation, uh, how much of all of it is you. Do you work with the team? Everything is your your creation. Yes, everything is created by me. But you cannot uh, work alone. Mm -hmm. Yes, we have a team, and make sure everything is hundred percent finity. Mm -hmm. So I will create everything from head to bottom. Mm -hmm. That's why it took me tw twenty years to get where it is because. I could have like a say, hey, you do this, you do this, you do this, and probably in in three years we will be on the top. Mm -hmm. I wanted to learn every part of my craftsmanship mm -hmm. to make sure that when I hire somebody or a partnership with somebody next time, I can be able to teach them what they do. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that's what I did. So the team are actually freelancer people mm -hmm. who work with us independently. Good. Although you are an African, you don't put a brand out there as an African brand, if you've left it uh, like um, a general lifestyle brand, is, is this deliberate? No, 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 no. It's presented as an African, but for me, being an African doesn't mean be Shaka Zulu. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All the young designers, when they present their brand, they feel like they have to use the African print. Mm -hmm. But what they don't know, I do my homework. Mm -hmm. African print is in Africa. <laughs> it's come from Netherlands. The, exactly. They created, they was just interested in the creator, and to the market, we start to like it. Mm -hmm. But that's not our identity. Mm -hmm. The Malian, the people from Bamako, the Mali people, they have the print. Mm -hmm. Ivory Coast, we have the print. Ghana, we have our own print. Mm -hmm. But what people use in a fashion today as an African mm -hmm. is not the print. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. My priority is my people. The soul of my people. I want my people to be successful. It's not about me. It's not about the African. Even the African themselves, they don't support each other. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so what's sure. the point for me to promote that? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But helping somebody, giving a situation, helping soul, helping develop, 
-hmm. and you become independent and successful tomorrow, mm -hmm. now I did something. Mm -hmm. That's why one of my brand called Heritage 1978 because it's about to leave a legacy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What was that brand? Is it a, a shirt, like a clothing? Or yes. Clothing? We have, like, that's why we do the robe, mm -hmm. the bathrobe, the body wear, like underwear. Yeah. Everything I do, like a t-shirt, mm -hmm. all my stuff that are not expensive under is, is under heritage. Great. If you buy Alan Fanidi, you, you have to have your towel a little bit because mm -hmm. you will sweat. Mm -hmm. It's expensive. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that's what it is because we use high-end. We want to leave our print in the mm -hmm. high-end industry. Mm -hmm. So we use the best materials for you. So uh, currently, the Alan uh, brand consists of a bag... Clothing. Okay. Alain Fenidi is uh, is uh, the 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 high end. Okay. And uh, we have Heritage, mm -hmm. and we have Erloom. Erloom. Okay. So Erloom is more is also like an Heritage. That's what it means. Mm -hmm. But it's more for female. Okay. Because we do like their scarf, jewelry, stuff for female. Mm -hmm. It is very expensive because mm -hmm. there's so many designer for men. I'm not interested for many mm -hmm. designer for female. I'm not interested to do too much for female, but I like to do some creative for my exquisite, my queen's female, something different and very elegant. Mm -hmm. So when you're creating, what are the things that appeal to you? Is it, is it like when you're choosing fabric? Are you looking at the texture? Are you looking at color? What, what appeals to you? When I create, is it pen? When I create what? Oh. For what brand? Uh, for maybe gang across. Okay, in general, when I create, it depends on the collection and mm -hmm. the moment. Mm -hmm. But most of my theme for uh, Alain Fanidi collection, the past collection, the theme I was royalty. Mm -hmm. Because I believe that um, most of the African was living as a team, not as a team, as a one big mm -hmm. family of royalty. And uh, the Occident come and separate all of them, and we went to different little clans and all that. Mm -hmm. So... That's my part of Africa. Mm -hmm. So I use royalty. I use uh, uh, now any tema associated to royalty. Mm -hmm. when, you talk, when we say royalty, so also military. Mm -hmm. So I use a lot of inspiration for military, mm -hmm. military, royalty. I use uh, with the royalty, would you also uh, associate to faith. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. because you don't sit on the throne if the Lord didn't give you the throne. So when I create, I think about all those people in reality mm -hmm. and I cut it like a movie. So it's like part one, part two, you know. So I would talk about the, 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 the story of your young princess who want to marry, you know, and um, how the guys was dressing. I would create the story of like my, my little shoes coming, we have like a, one shoes called Victory and one shoes called Valley. Mm -hmm. You know, they tell a story yes, about yeah. like, a, a, the, you know, personal life and that can inspire other people. Great. Uh, so what, what is your clientele like? To sort of thing? Mm, that's interesting. Um, in terms of clientele, um, is first of all, we don't take everybody mm -hmm. because we are not everywhere. Mm -hmm. For me, the definition of luxury is not about the price. Mm -hmm. It's something that is rare. So just like a diamond, you don't find it everywhere. Yeah. You have to look for finding it. Mm -hmm. So we don't make our stuff available. Yeah. You, you yeah. see the showroom is mm -hmm. just it's, it's on the top of a building. You don't even know where mm -hmm. it is. Mm -hmm. So we don't look for clientele. The clientele find us. Mm -hmm. So whoever they are, when they come to us, they just we welcome them in the family. Mm -hmm. And then we go from there. So sometimes... It's depend on the need. Mm -hmm. They come here sometimes to custom me some bag to their loving one, you know. We make one piece at a time because mm -hmm. our bag we only make some of them are made in, in Italy in Europe, some are made at other area and they make only three per month. Mm -hmm. So we have a list for the bags. The backpack, we call it the profit bag. This one is expensive because it's made out of pony. That's with the baby horse and we print of the Jaguar on it. Because again, that's my Africanity for those people who ask why I didn't do because you see the Jaguar? Mm -hmm. Again, around here, so that's the African. So those one are made in Italian. For the shoes, 50 piece, we let our plant list know that this coming, they 50, have- a, 50 piece per year. 
50 pieces on per collection. Per collection, okay. Yes, but it depends. Sometimes there will be some pieces we just 50 per year. Mm -hmm. Some of them we're going to have two per year. Like mm -hmm. um, this year, we have only two. Mm -hmm. But what I said, two, not the same shoes. We have like the sandals, the royal sandals. Mm -hmm. And now we're about to have in uh, before December, the we're going to have the 50 of the valet, mm -hmm. 50 of the victory shoes. So 100 pieces mm -hmm. just before Christmas. Mm -hmm. So they come in olive green, print crocodile, some kind of stuff like this. Those are the ones that I wear. For people who like mm -hmm. very simple shoes, they're very basic. I love them. Mm -hmm. You can wear to go to work because even on Broadway, are discreet, turn mm -hmm. on turn. You can go to work. It's also suede, and you have a symbol of faith under. So, uh, as, a, as somebody who creates these things, uh, which, which which one of them gives you the most satisfaction? Because creating a bag comes. It's different from creating a shoe. Uh, which one of them do you gives you the most work? And when you are done, you know that. Okay. Uh, okay. Oh. You you see how the client reacts or how how, how me I react? Mm -hmm. Oh. My client love all my stuff. Mm -hmm. it's, it's crazy. They love all the stuff. They want to see me in the store. Unfortunately, that's not our target. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But in fact, some of them, when I find they sort of to be disappointed because I decide uh, to focus more on shoes and bag mm -hmm. instead of clothes. For many reasons that I won't say here, mm -hmm. but um, we focus on shoes and bag. The excitement for the shoe, the clothes, uh, Total because some of them will wear like a we make certain kind of denim mm -hmm. that uh, was very rare, but all the people who have a big tag there was a hallelujah. We make some kind of a paint for tall guy who play basketball too, they don't find nothing, they was so happy. All those different seven body we make clothes for them and they like it. But I decided to make it that point because the investment for this is huge. Mm -hmm. And um, as an African immigrant in the U.S. in the business of luxury fashion with no support, mm -hmm. it's tough. Beside the Lord, we don't have another support. So we decided to just put the fashion clothes on the side, but only custom made for those who want. And the shoes will be and the, and the shoes and the bag will be what will be pushed the most. Okay, I mean you've been doing this for twenty years. I know. You probably don't want to mention names of some people you've worked for, but I mean, we, we, we have to know. Give us some. No, I cannot really give the name. <laughs> I cannot give them because that's the beauty of the thing. I you know you were going to Hermes, you will try to have like a, the name of the people who come to buy those half million bags, they will mm -hmm. never give you the name. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because luxury doesn't make noise. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, especially on the web, to me to say, it would be tacky. Mm -hmm. Now, <laughs> you want to know, come by, and you will be one of them. One of them, exactly. Mm -hmm. uh, so, you're turning 20 in December, or is it mm -hmm. this, this mm -hmm. December? Mm -hmm. Anything special coming up? Anything special coming up? Oh, yes. So probably the shoes. The new version of the shoes, since mm -hmm. we decided to focus on the shoes, we're going to have different color, different texture, mm -hmm. and the way we're going to work with the shoes will be interesting. Mm -hmm. We want to, to launch those shoes and at the same time launch our nonprofit mm -hmm. where we can start to open the, the center, the heritage center, the Billy Center. We call it Billy for the men because I love you. Mm -hmm. For the female, it will be highly more. I love you more. Okay. So that we'll be able to learn about uh, fashion, the, more than the fashion, because fashion is not just accurate, it's just the way you feel. But how you feed yourself with that is how you impact other people, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you know? And so this center is going to be where? Uh, we're going to try wherever we find our partner. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We'd, we want everywhere. First of all, in Africa, mm -hmm. yes, <laughs> I will feed myself before I go somewhere else. Mm -hmm. So, Africa. What do you say to those who see luxury as um, vanity and not something that is necessary? I don't have nothing to say to them, but what I know, the Lord doesn't make no mistake. Mm -hmm. If they are not there, we won't make no money. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, mm -hmm. I don't believe that there was anybody on this planet who are not necessary. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So uh, finally, what should people expect uh, maybe before the end of the year, collection, apart from the, the shoe, what should we expect in general? Um, 
I'm working on the book. I'm working on the book and um, to express the visual and teach people probably about the brand so they will understand because I want people to know about my life mm -hmm. so they will understand that they don't just put a name on the back but it's, it's something special. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. It's been yes. a pleasure. <laughs> Thank you, brother. I like your t-shirt, by the way. Thanks.